It was so incredible watching the whole of the Olympics. I mean, I, we all think that we took part. You made us so happy, so thank you from everybody <laughs> here. You really, really did. But you had that agonising wait of 24 hours. So what did you do? I and mean, what, what was going through your mind in those 24 hours? Um, well, we, on the first day when we sort of should have won it, we still went on the water, we floated around for three hours and no wind, so we still did all our routine as we ever would do. Uh, came ashore, did all our checks again. Um, Han sort of clicked into a bit of paranoid mode. Uh, she, she checked our boat so many times, worried that because a breakage or something would stop us from finishing the race. So uh, she sort of really took on that mantle to do that. Um, and just mentally, we just tried to keep as calm as we could. Uh, we were knackered, but we just had to keep going for the next day. How do you do that, though? How do you stay calm? Oh, it took literally every ounce of energy, the Olympic Games, for me. Our events are usually sort of five days long, and uh, the Olympics turned into a nine-day event for us just because of the wind, and we had supposed rest days that weren't rest days. We were still competing, so it was just mentally and physically the toughest week of my life. Um, and you just wake, you, you let yourself off in the evenings and you just relax and do whatever you want and feel however you want to feel. And then you know that when you wake up in the morning, that's it, you're back into game mode and back into, right, what do I have to do um, to be in the best possible place to try and win? So, of course, silver last time and gold this time. Does it feel that much different? Or is it, is it it's the medal or is it the gold? Oh. A bazillion totally percent different. different. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't believe it, would you? Yeah. Like, silver so was amazing, but we were gutted because we were really close to the gold. Um, and it was London, so that was obviously incredible. Mm. But uh, for us and probably any athlete, to stand on top of the podium as Olympic champions is just the dream. And uh, I can't... It's amazing. I can tell by your faces. <laughs> you're glowing, and so you should be. And I love the fact that you went to the beach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me about that. We still haven't uh, heard if we might get disqualified yet. <laughs> I know. You're being serious. Might you be disqualified? Uh, technically, it was out of rules, yeah. But we sort of, they put a board up at the end of the race to say the positions, and we were like, okay, done. And uh, we just wanted to get to the beach. Hans' mum was there, and my boyfriend was there, and uh, it was so much fun uh, just to sail in. And there was like, a big uh, Brazilian crowd as well on the beach, and uh, they all just got involved. It was great. What was it like seeing your mum on the beach um, when you just won gold? There's a photo yeah. of you two. Oh, <laughs> it was amazing, you know. Obviously, um, you never get anywhere, um, really, without the support of your friends and loved ones and family. And um, that mum came out to Rio was sort of special enough, but, yeah, definitely all I wanted to do was see her. Um, yeah, she's sort of... Well, my whole family's been behind us the whole way, haven't they? And, yeah, it was amazing. Now, you two, obviously, you're a great double act, but how did you end up becoming a double act? <laughs> um, so, in the build-up to London, I was sailing with another girl who had a young baby, and uh, she decided she couldn't make that balance work anymore. So, we were actually out celebrating my first retirement, <laughs> and uh, uh, Han's household, uh, she was, like, living in a flat with a uh, group of sailors. We all went out, and sort of halfway through the evening, we were a bit like, hang on a minute. And Hannah was sailing with another girl, a friend, another friend of ours. Um, but we discussed what, you know, some potential for London that we saw and uh, sort of went for it. We had three months to our trials for London uh, and we just gave it everything and we sort of got selected and uh, rolled on into London. And are you really, you just say your first retirement? Yeah. Are you really <laughs> retiring this time? Uh, yeah, I am. I Why? Mean, You're so young. She's <laughs> not. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> You actually had your birthday yesterday, <laughs> wasn't it? Happy birthday Thank for you. yesterday, for a very young age that you were. Um, I've, it's time. I mean, this is what I've dreamt of forever, and uh, um, I, I've got it. And I don't think um, I've had... Me and Hannah have had such a ride, you know, it's been amazing, and um, I think just stopping on this high is the, the best and only way to do it, yeah. How will you cope without her? Oh, without the old lady? <laughs> I don't know. There's <laughs> a song right now. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it hasn't sunk in at all that it's kind of over. Mm. So let's not think about that. <laughs> but um, I, d I don't know. I'm going to see, enjoy the success we've had together definitely first, and then think about uh, what's next for me as well. But you're surely you're going to go in, back in four years, aren't you? <sighs> we'll see. <laughs> Yeah. I know everybody's, I mean, everybody's uh, asking all of the Olympians yeah. if you're going to go back. And I suppose it's crazy of us to say that to you because you're all exhausted. But you've, you have brought us so much pleasure. I cannot thank you enough. We all felt that we were there with you. You, do, you, do, you did an amazing job. 
so thank proud. You. And thank I'm not you. even a member of your family, and I feel like I am. <laughs> thank you both very, very much for all you've done for us all. Thank, thank you. you. Well done. Thank you. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe. We just flew back economy, so we were just sort of going to get on the plane as normal, and they were like, all, right, all the GB gold medalists off first, please. And I was just sort of casually sat waiting, thinking I'll get my stuff out of the locker when everyone else has got off. But I had to get off first, and then someone took all our luggage off, and then there was all this media waiting outside, and they were taking photos as I went off in the car with Dan, my husband. So um, that was all a little bit surreal.